Hi everyone, my name is Maria Penrod. I am a second year Master of Divinity student at Gary Evangelical Theological Seminary. Uh, I was asked to share what I think public ministry means to me during this time of sheltering at home. And to share with you, I would like to share an image. Um, the image that works for me is that of a windmill. So I'm from Kansas, where we have a lot of windmills, um, and they're solitary uh, framed towers that have a wheel on the top. And uh, as the air blows, which is frequently, uh, the wheel spins. And the wheel is connected to a well. And the air spinning the wheel provides the energy to pump water from the well. And then that water can be used to uh, water cattle. It can be used to uh, power an irrigation system. It can also be used just for a family's everyday needs. Um, so in the Hebrew Bible, the word ruach is the Hebrew word that we translate as Holy Spirit. And ruach means air or wind or breath. So it's moving air. Um, so in this image, I like to think of the Holy Spirit powering and connecting all of us who are windmills. And windmills are often isolated and they can't move um, and spread out, separated from each other. But the Holy Spirit is what makes them all spin. And spinning the wheel of the windmill, the Holy Spirit prompts the water to flow, um, pump, prompts the water to be pumped from the well that the windmill is powering. So I think that living water is uh, an elegant way to describe this water. Uh, we know that Jesus um, described himself as living water to the woman at the well. And um, even though we're separated, the Holy Spirit is still um, making our windmill spin and bringing up that living water inside of us. And then it's up to us to discern how the Holy Spirit is calling us to use that living water. What can we nourish with this water? What can we make grow with this water? Um, and because of the need to stay at home in order to protect our most vulnerable in our community, as well as not to overwhelm our healthcare system, um, that makes us have to get a little creative and get a little messy, maybe get our hands a little dirty in thinking about how we love our neighbors at this time. Uh, how do we share living water and the good news of the gospel right now? It's going to look different, but I think through prayer and through uh, study and through learning more about God and connecting to that deep well of living water and the Holy Spirit, We'll come up with creative new ways to connect with each other during this time. The ministry needs are there. In fact, the ministry needs are multiplying as we have a lot of people suffering for a lot of different reasons. In this way, it's more important than ever that we strive to stay connected and love each other and by the power of the Holy Spirit and living water, we know we're not alone. Thank you for watching, and go and live in peace.